I welcome you all to our communion service for today, for the first Sunday of the month. When we were children running footloose through grace, you loved us. Tender God, dappling the night skies with bright stars of morning, teaching us to walk the paths of the first dawn, telling us your dreams for all you created. When in a hurry to greet you, we fell skinning our knees, you lifted us up in your arms, holding us to your cheeks wet with joy. When we were children, your calling to wash up for dinner, you came and found us, taking us by the hand to feed us from Eden's abundance. But when we grew up, we knew more than you, turning to the idols of wealth and power, who promised to serve us even as they shackled us, giving ourselves over to anxiety's sweet caress. Yet you are God, not a foolish human. You remain in our midst, not to punish or destroy, but to reach out and bring us home to your heart. Holy are you, God of infinite tenderness, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Breaking the enslaving bonds of sin, he binds our wounds with cords of compassion, walking with us when we lost our ways. He shows us the paths to the kingdom, stripping himself of glory and honor. He clothes us in the new lives of faith, leaving aside his equality with you. He became one of us so that we might be one with you. We remember the stories that Jesus' friends tell, stories of bread broken and shared, feeding a multitude, stories of being gathered together, enemy and friend around tables, stories of unlikely guests revealing the face of the sacred. They say that on the night of both celebration and betrayal, that he took bread left over from the table, blessed it, and broke it, reminding them that in his breaking that we become whole, in losing our lives that we find them, in serving that we are served. As the grain scattered becomes one in the loaf, when we eat this bread, we become one with one another. They say also that he took the cup, also left over on the table, poured out and sharing, remembering with them the life-giving breath, even now pounding a rhythm through our veins, the breath of life from whence we come, the breath that proceeds and follows all that we can see. As the grapes find life on the vine, when we drink this cup, we become at one with the source of life. Let us pray. Compassionate God, pour out your gracious spirit on us and on these, your simple gifts. Fill us with the broken bread so that we might be made whole. Touch our parched lips with the cup of salvation so that we might proclaim your gospel. Then send us forth, our hearts recoiling at the oppression suffered by our sisters and brothers our hands willing to build shelter for those cast out by the world, our arms surrounding the lost and the least, in the embrace of common humanity. And when we are clothed with our new self, when we are united with our sisters and brothers gathered around the table of glory, we will sing our praises to you forever. forever. God in community, holy in one, as you satisfy the thirsty with your grace, and fill the hungry with your love. Amen. This is the body of Christ. Take and eat. This is the blood of Christ. Take and drink. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. As you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of Eucharist, send us now into the world in peace and grant us the strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen.